Hey y'all, how's it going? I am Joy, and welcome back once again to our Pokemon Heart Gold Monolock. I know in our last episode, I laid out this whole plan of going to face Misty in our next episode, but in doing my research for that episode, I discovered that the Kanto leg of these Johto games is kind of jank when it comes to their gym leader levels and their pathing. So um, I'm in Fuchsia City to take on Janine. Uh, Janine's ace Pokemon level is 50. So I'm already overleveled, which of course I absolutely adore. It's not like I wanted to be on par or anything to keep things interesting. But um, it is what it is. Uh, we've already beaten Surge. So Surge is 53, as we've seen. Janine is 50. Brock and Misty are both 54. So I'm hoping to do them back to back in one episode. Sabrina is 55. Erica is 56. Blaine is 59. And I believe Blaine is in Seafoam Island rather than Cinnabar Island. Um, we'll see what happens with the story when we get there. And then our old buddy Blue is level 60. So that being said, um, I'm going to try to do Janine's gym in this episode. Maybe the power plant if I'm lucky. It all depends on how this gym goes for me. Um, and I have a random little bit of alone time here that I wasn't expecting. So I'm going to try to power through as much as I can. Um, we'll see if Ty is ready to go. Ty is happily cuddling up to me. Considering that you are a squid that is dangerous, you might very well be the toxic one that I don't want to have to deal with. Um, so there's our levels. I did a little bit of training on the way to get here just because there were some trainers I couldn't avoid. Um, basically 53 across the board except for Tarant, who was my MVP in the Surge battle. If you guys missed that, it was it was quite the event. So go check that episode out if you want to and if you missed it. And let's head into Janine's gym and see what awaits us. Oh boy. Alright, what's up with you? Uh, Legend of the Making. All of the trainers look like Janine. Which of them is real? Um, okay, so invisible walls again. Great. Just like Koga's gym. Normally Koga is more in the middle. So I'm not thinking that Janine will be one of these um, trainers around the edges. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be this one here. I wanna get here. There we go. Is it you? No, Strongman Scott. With your Corsola. Okay. Level 48 shouldn't be a problem. Except for the fact that you have Intimidate, which is just adorable, considering you're a little Corsola. Um, let's go to Nick for this one. I feel like Nick is going to get used a lot less than my Vile Plume, so... Power Gem. Okay. Let's just Mega Drain it and get our health back. Why not? And it got the kill, actually. Interesting. I mean, it was quad effective, so it should have, but it's Nick, so I was kind of expecting it to just barely miss killing it. Um, I'm a boy. What's wrong with a boy dressing up as Janine? Absolutely nothing. This is 2023. You can do whatever you want. Uh, what about you? Fooled you. I'm horrible at this. Maybe I should have researched where she's at. But then again, it wouldn't be any fun if I did that. Oh boy. Psychic fighting. Oh, that's so bad. That is literally the worst. Um, I'm a lot higher of a level though, so I think I'm okay. But that is like the worst thing to be fighting right now. Psycho cut. That's gonna hurt. Ow. Yep, that, that did indeed hurt. Um, I'm gonna bait it with you. Although I think 
it, this is also part fighting, so this is a really bad idea, but it's also... You have Aftermath. Well, that's less than ideal. Should be neutral on it, though, because it's part fighting, too. Sword Stance. Okay. Oh, this means you don't have anything to hit me with, I think, right? Unless you have, like, a, a quick attack or something. Faint. Haha. -ha. Good. Alright, and Aftermath isn't going to do a whole lot because he had a little bit of health left. This is where not one-shotting things comes in very, very handy, I've learned. Uh, I think that works the same way with Innards Out and later gens. I'm not entirely sure, though. But, whoa. Alright, Crunch again. Crunch is, like, OP. The only move I really plan on using on Tarant. Except for Toxic Spikes when I have to. Alright, now so we don't waste the PP of it, we will just simply Poison Fang it and be done. I should get rid of Bug Bite, but I don't know, I kind of like Bug Bite. It's really good for uh, getting rid of the enemy's um, berries that they're bound to have. Okay, um... I is damaged. See, it's Steel and Rock. I think I gotta go out to tie and just heal. Because I don't think that grass is gonna be that effective on me here. Now, I should be faster, and I should be able to just surf and kill it, but I'm also not in the business of risking things, so I'm just gonna heal and go from there. Because what are you gonna have? Metal Claw? Um, rock Throw, maybe? Takedown, which is. Shades of the Grand Bull in my E4 run, so I'm a little bit peeved that you would use a move like that, but we're okay. This should get the kill and we just move on. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to be too risky. So I had to heal. God, Jacqueline. Yes, I'm not weak. Thank you for noticing. Alright, ah, oh, gosh darn it. Oh, gosh darn it, let me out. Was it you? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of Fusion Gym. That's me. Yep, that's me. If y'all know the uh, reference to that, you are a true 90s kid, and I appreciate you. <sighs> of course it'd be a man of me. Luckily, it's just pure water type, I do believe. And it's not a very good mythical. So, we are going to go out into Oatmeal. Because as much as I do want to use Nick a little bit more, I would rather trust my pure power mon. Which is a really stupid idea since he's raising his defense, actually. But let's go ahead and slow you down. Or try to, anyway. Okay, good. Uh, Mega Drain is special, so as much as I'm not going to be utilizing my pure power, I'm also not letting him utilize his defense raises, so we should be good to go on this one. Might take a little bit, but we'll get there. Bubble Beam again, not very effective. I'm just going to speed up a little bit to get through this thing. Full Restore, of course you did. Why would you lower my speed when I'm already slower than you? Okay. Okay, there we go. Good job, Oatmeal. Mamoswine. Huh. Don't like that. Um, I think this is a, tr uh, a tie thing. I was gonna say a Tarant thing. No, Tarant, you have absolutely nothing to hit this thing with. Where Ty, on the other hand, has Surf, which will still be super effective. And we should be faster. And it's poison, so even if I don't get the kill immediately, I can chip it down a little. This should kill it, though. In theory. I'm just worried about, like, Earthquake or something. In which case, I should have gone out into Vlad, but then Vlad would have been bopped by the Ice-typing, so... 
worthwhile risk. Good job, Ty. Or Tara. <sighs> Again with this thing. Okay. Um... I should be faster, and I can use Ice Beam. But the safer play is going out into Vlad, because I am immune to the ground aspect of Torterra. Unfortunately, I would love to just use Tai and sweep things, but... Not smart. Not smart at all. And I rose my special attack, which is great! I will just Air Slash now. Probably won't kill it, but... Never mind. Good job, Vlad. Then again, I'm nine levels higher, so it should be expected. Ariados. Stay in and air slash it again. At least Janine has a poison type. That's helpful. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go after this, because I actually have an idea. Um, I wanted to clear out the Snorlax, both of the Snorlaxes, and see what those are for one, because if that's a static I can actually use, then that's great. Um, but for two, I don't think I can do that until I do the power plant mumbo jumbo. Because I believe that's how I'm able to use um, the polka flute on the radio in the first place. So I think I have to do that first. Is there a static in the power plant in this version? I don't remember. Vespaquin. I will stay in and air slash it. Why not? You've got a great battle technique. A air slash everything and win? Yeah. Utilizing Crobat is definitely a good technique. I love Crobat, so... Whenever I have the chance to use one, I will. And I don't even mind putting in the work to get him out of a Zubat. It's still one of my favorite moments. I was so surprised. I see. You have defeated Koga, my father, and a member of the Elite Four, to come here. No wonder you are so strong. You've definitely won, so here is your soul badge. Thank you, Janine. Much appreciated. You're so tough, I have a special gift. Poison Jab, a powerful poison type move that may poison its victim. I don't think that's what that is, considering this is a randomizer, but I appreciate the idea. That was TM84, right? So it would actually be Sonic Boom. Just less than ideal, to be fair. Oh god, really? Really? R really? Why isn't there just a direct line after I've beaten her already? Ugh. Gotta go all the way- ugh. All the way up. And around. There we go. I swear, all these walls should just disappear once you've won, but it's fine. Not Lavender Town. Rock Tunnel. I should be able to- I should be able to fly there. I went to the center. How dare you. Okay, well. I guess we have to do it this way. I mapped out a lot of area, thinking that I could just fly to where I needed to go and save some time, but apparently the game is being mean to me. How you doing, buddy? Playfully nibbling at the ground. That would be really adorable if you weren't a giant pile of goo. Okay. Hello. I'm ready to blast something. Who would dare steal a part from the generator? I spent so much time fixing it. If I catch him, he's going to see what I can do with my charge beam. Um, excuse me, officer. Power plays manager is up ahead, but since someone wrecked the generator, he's been both sad and, at times, furious. Sometimes he would burst out laughing out of desperation. We've had to go through so much. Okay, well, yeah, so this is where I have to go and find the part for you, right? To doop, to doop. Um, I just got word from Cerulean, it appears that a shitty character has been loitering around. Could I ask for your cooperation? The shitty character has been hanging around the Cerulean gym. 
Sure thing, this is where knowing fly and having everything unlocked already comes in pretty handy. I shall fly the cerulean, get your part, and then bring it back. Because I'm pretty sure that I need that before I can do the Snorlax thingy. And then Misty is... Misty is near Bill's house, I think. Um. Oops, I'm sorry. You're not hurt, okay? Very easy. No time to talk. Bye. Oh, you've seen me already. I make a big mistake. Uh, hey, you forget that you see me, okay? You seen, heard, know, nothing. Got it. Bye. A go go. Um. Okay. Well, I don't think that we can get it in there yet. So we probably have to go chase him down. If I remember correctly. I've never gone to red, but I have done some of the other area. There you are. Hi, buddy. About to fight you? Dude, you can't just interfere in somebody's date like that. What's wrong with you? Oh, no. Hiding I was, but you did. Me found in no time. Me only one from another country. Yet. No big business, okay? Think I did if stop the energy be big panic and unlucky for here people. Secret, it is my mission, so tell you I not. But, if win you do versus me, a man I be and mine secret to you tell. You understand? Battle begin we do. That was like some weird Yoda stuff. Y Yoda made more sense. <laughs> Hitman Chan. I, wow, okay, I was reading that. Remember when you used to have to click A to get through dialogue? Apparently not. Okay, tell you mine secret will I. Machine part steal by me. Hide it I did in Gym of the Cerulean. Near inflatable tube, put it I did, look for Jim at. But you forget me not? Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine allies, yes, will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye, a go go? Broken up, it is, says you? Oh no. Should I do what now on from me? Okay. I am my country. Go home. Make Team Rocket. I will. Goodbye. So long. Sorry, folks. Okay. Uh, we weren't damaged all that much, so now we're just gonna go on back into the gym and try to find that machine part. Um, I believe I remember roughly where it's at. Uh, let's see. It should be over here somewhere. Oh. Picked up the black item that was by the pool. It's the part from the machine. Yay. Now, I don't think I can fly to the center outside of Rock Tunnel. Um, I tried that in the last episode, and it didn't go well for me. So, I'm just gonna have to mosey on my way. I'm gonna heal first, just in case I'm stupid and happen to run into a trainer. I should go get those items, too, but I don't have anybody that has cut, and I don't want to teach anybody cut. Because unlike my farm lock series, cut has not been randomized. In my farm lock series, a cut is amazing, and it's like 145 base power and 100 accuracy. And it's on my mill tank, so it's even better. But... Yeah, here I didn't really touch anything, because this was before I started uh, playing around with different um, randomizer settings and all that stuff. And I'm not really sure what I prefer, to be fair. Um, randomizers where everything's all weird and jank yet also kind of wonderful, or ones like this, where it's just more of a standardized playthrough, but... The restrictions that you give yourself are... Um, oh, I did fight you. Whoops. It must be a silver mountain. Um, sure. Sure it is. Anyway, before you so rudely interrupted me, 
I think I kind of prefer the randomizers where things are a little bit more interesting as opposed to this. Although I do love um, just like monologues, wedlocks, and the like. There's something really, really fun about random accuracy uh, things. I made a ROM for Jonas actually recently um, that he's playing over on his channel as a stream series. And the only thing that I touched in move data was accuracy. And it made things so much worse because you have some really, really good moves that now have absolutely horrible accuracy. And it is just really fun to see him kind of struggle his way through. He did almost lose, I think, in the last stream that we did of it. Um, I'm playing it as well um, on my side. Not the same ROM, but the same settings. And it's, it's tough. It's really tough. Um, it's not super level boosted. Nothing's crazy. But randomizing the accuracy of the random moves that you can get is really kind of fun. It's, it's evil without being too evil, you know? So that's one of my favorite settings to use, I think. Um, I'm not sure what your guys' would be. So if you want to go ahead and let me know that, you can. Uh, Vlad, let's go out to you. Little great boy. This might level you up, but it shouldn't, because it's just a masquerade. And air slash it. I need to give him another item or a better item or something. Um, a King's Rock would be cool. That way it kind of increases how many flinches we can possibly get with Air Slash. I love download, but it might actually be better if he had a Serene Grace or something. Alright. Let's go. I might need to pop a Repel. I reached... That didn't reach the shore in time. <sighs> Troll, no. Why are you stalking me so much? I love you, buddy, but I've already got you in the box. Are you just mad that I'm not using you? I can't. I'm, I'm kind of trying to run off of a static team rule here. So I, I can't use you as much as I would love to. Alright, hey buddy, I got your part. Ah, yeah, the thing you have. Is that part that was stolen from my beloved generator? You found it? Oh, thank you so much. Now all I have to do is attach this part here. Bada boom, bada bing. Whir. It's running. Whir, whir, whir. Thank you. Take this TM as a reward. All right, cool. Is it whirlwind? Charge beam. Maybe it's not charge beam. Let me see. Uh, I don't even know what number it was. Not gonna lie. Um, Destiny Bond? Dude, no. That means I have to die. I don't want that. Disappoint. Alright, now there is one thing that I want to do now that I have my... Um, hmm. Let's go down here first. Now that I have the power plant restored, I think I can get my radio card installed. Which would be beneficial for moving the Snorlaxes so that I can actually move about the game with some more, um, efficiency if I can get in the freaking door. Alright, you. You install it, right? Music director, Pokegear can't tune into my music shows. How unfortunate. If you upgrade it with the Xpian card, you can tune in. So you'd better get one. Where do I get one of those things? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I actually had no idea that was who I was supposed to talk to. I was just, um, hoping <laughs> that I was right. So that's cool. Uh, sometimes talking to random people can be a very good thing. So, now that we have our radio card, what I'm going to do is fly over to Vermilion because there is a sleeping Snorlax that I would very much like to move so that I can get into Diglett Cave and then I can go unlock Brock. 
So I will be doing that in our next episode, and then I will go through all the areas, unlock all my poker centers, so we can just, like, bop around as we go. I think the radio card is all that I need for this, so I'm going to head over there, and I'm going to park it outside of there. And... There you are. Hi, buddy. Troll, look at this thing. Look at this big lug. You're happy about the great weather. Me too. It's actually really, really nice out. So I could not be more thrilled. Let me just sandwich myself between these two brutes here. So I will catch you guys next time for more of our Monolock Canto run. Ethan, I swear, if you don't stop interrupting me. <laughs> anyway, check out the links down below for my entire playlist of this game. I do believe that should be down there. As well as my link to Twitter and my Discord server if you guys want to become a loved one and connect with me there. And Trollmeister and I will catch you over in episode 3 when we wake up this boyo here. And then move on to face Misty and Brock 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 in this Canto run. Have a joy-filled day, y'all.